Another basic skill that is required when you become effective as you use Microsoft Excel is the ability to change the width of columns. Microsoft Excel is a, is a spreadsheet package and the spreadsheet has columns and rows and it's always an issue making the width of your column appropriate as you're working in your worksheet. The video that you'll be, you're about to watch will, will demonstrate to you several different ways that you can change the width of your columns in your Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. It helps you become more effective and, as you work in Microsoft Excel. Enjoy the video. I've got a worksheet open in Microsoft Excel 2010 and you can see from this worksheet that there's some issues with the, with the columns. I'll be using this worksheet to demonstrate different ways that you could change the width of your columns as you're working. So first of all, in the first column, you can see that the names of these suppliers have been cut off because the column isn't wide enough. I've got some other issues where I have some numbers in column C, for example, and also some numbers in column G, and the, the columns aren't wide enough in, in, in those columns as well. That's why you're seeing this whole bunch of number signs strung together. So it's an ongoing issue in Microsoft Excel is the ability to be able to make a change to the width of a column. I'm going to show you three different ways of changing the width of a column. This first method I'll be talking about is using a button on the, filter, sorry, a button on the ribbon in order to, to uh, change the width of a column. For this first method to work, I have to first of all click on the column that I want to change the width of. Then I'll go up to the ribbon. I'm on the Home tab. I'm going to move across on the ribbon towards the right side of the ribbon and click on the Format button. I'll get a drop-down list. And I'll move down to where it says Column Width and click, and it takes me into a Column Width window. Now in this Column Width window, it shows me what the current width of the column is. There's black background behind that number. The black background means I don't need to click. I can just type. So I'm going to make a guess at this. I'm going to type in 22. In other words, 22 characters wide. I'll click on OK. And that column is now going to be 22 characters wide. It takes quite a bit of effort to do this. You have to first of all click on the column. You have to go to the Home tab, click on the Format button, and then choose Column Width. Type in a number and hopefully get, make sure that that number was correct. That's one method. Not the best method in the world for doing it. I'm going to reverse this out by going to the Undo button. I'm going to show you a different method. The second method is using your mouse to change the width of a column to be a particular number of characters wide. Now, I don't use this method that often. Maybe I use this uh, maybe 10% of the time if I want to make a column a certain character, certain number of characters wide. For this to work, I'll take my mouse up in the column header area. I've got to be in the column headers for this. I'll put my mouse on the line up in the column headers between column A and column B. It always fixes the column to the left where I'm positioned. So I'm going between A and B. If, for example, I was trying to fix column F, I go up in the column headers between F and G. So in this case, I'm between A and B. I get to set a double header arrows. I'm going to hold my mouse button down. A width counter shows up above the double header arrows. I'm going to drag this to the right and make this as close as possible to 22 characters wide. I'll let go of my mouse, and I get exactly the same result that I had in the previous method. But for me, this is a little bit easier to do. It's less clicking of the mouse and I can just use my mouse to change the column to be a, cer a certain number of characters wide. That's the second method, using a double headed arrow up in the column headers and dragging a column to be wider or narrower. I'm going to drag this back to a narrower width. The third method I use is the one that I use for the most part, all, for the most part, most of the time. What I want to do now is automatically fit column A. So again, I'll take my mouse up to the column header area on the line between column A and column B. Understanding again, I'm always going to be fixing the column to the left where I'm positioned. If I was going to try to fix column F, I'd go between F and G up in the column header area. So I'm up between uh, column A and B. I'll get double head arrows. And this time, rather than drag it, I'm going to do a double click. And when I do that, it quickly fixes the width of that column. Let's try this again in column C, up in the column headers, on the line between C and D, and double click. It'll fix the width of that column. And finally, I'll go between G and H and double click. It'll fix the width of that column. So that's a, a great method for real quickly changing the width of a column. Again, that's the technique I use most of the time when I'm in Microsoft Excel. It's going to reverse that back out by going to undo a couple of times to put it back to where, where I started. What I cut off and do when I'm working a worksheet is I don't worry about the column widths until I'm finished with everything. Then I automatically fix the entire worksheet. So to do this, I have to first of all select the entire worksheet. And I can do that by taking my mouse to the left of column header A, above row number 1. I get a white cross. I'll click. It selects the entire worksheet. I'll take my mouse up in the column header area on any line between column headers. If I'm not quite sure, I'll just go between A and B. I'll get double header arrows. And I'll double click. It now fixes the entire worksheet. So every column now is exactly as wide as necessary. And often that's the last thing I do before I finalize or print off my worksheet. Let me go through that process one more time. I'm going to undo that. 
So I first of all select the entire worksheet. I'll take my mouse up to the column headers on any line up in the column headers. And this time I'll go between C and D, although it doesn't really matter where I am as long as I'm on a line in the column headers. And I'll do a double click and it fixes the entire worksheet. It doesn't change, make any changes to any column that has no data in it. It only changes those columns that have some data in it. So those are three techniques you can use for changing the width of a column. You can use the button up in the ribbon. You can use the double head of arrows and drag it or use the double head of arrows up in the column header area and do a double click. Well, there you have it. I hope that you enjoyed that information about how you can easily make the width of your columns uh, the, way, the way you want them to look in Microsoft Excel. It's a valuable basic skill that you have to be able to have to be effective in Microsoft Excel. My name again is Joe Peterson. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Uh, please visit our website. Our website is www.joecomputertips.com. On that website, we have lots of videos that help you to become more effective as you use all the Microsoft applications, including Microsoft Excel. Thanks again.